And welcome back to episode 35 of the Football Fanatic Podcast. Um, with you as always, Declan O'Connor here and Howard and Dan, as always, my um, trusty analysts. How are you doing, man? Oh, good, Deck. Yeah. How are you getting on? Chatty um, Deck. Yeah, pretty good. Um, parenting life is uh, it's brilliant, it's tiring. Dan has taught me a lot, though, so I'm ready for it. <laughs> Dan, how are you? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Trusty and analysts. We're trusty. We're trusty. Of course, you're tr- my trustworthy analysts. You know, I wouldn't go to anyone else for any football related. Or daddy, parental <laughs> friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you want to know about uh, milk and breast pumps? You know, come talk to dad. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Uh, right, we'll get straight into a lot of football, uh, a lot of talking points over the weekend. Um, but we're going to start with the title race and just going to keep everyone updated on our opinions on uh, Wolves and Arsenal, first of all. It could have been a tricky could have been a tricky game, but Arsenal were professional in going about getting the three points. Howard, what did you make of it? Um, yeah, I suppose out of this in the Villa game, this one I was looking at as the probably, you know, more of a banana skin than uh, yeah. the Villa game, just where it fell like after the Munich away. But um Arsenal, like they have been they've been starting games, first half have been very they've been very good in the last few like well, all since twenty twenty four, like they've been very good in the first half. It was just that half against Villa that they really just didn't turn up or Emery just pulled a, a quick one on them on them. So this was kind of I was looking at Wolves' the starting lineup. They were missing basically their their best three players. Net Neto, they're missing a lot, uh, aren't they? Yeah, Eight Nori, your man, and their left back, and um, oh, there was a Kuna. Another, yeah, Kuna, yeah, yeah, their striker. So like it was, you know, it was a fortunate time to play them in general. But look, they still had to get the job done. Had a few chances in the first half, but not all kind of half chances. And even the Trossard goal, like it wasn't really a clear cut chance either. Yeah. And it was, uh, you know, that's what he does. I suppose he, he gets like a little half chance and he, he puts it away. And I think maybe that's what Arsenal have kind of missed, you know, maybe more players like him uh, in the squad that could just, you know, when they don't show up Arsenal or if they're not a hundred percent, they can still have a player that will just pop up and, and, and grab a, grab a goal out of nothing. Like the, he, him, he's probably the only player to have really to do that. Yeah. You know, that, they kind of in in the midfield, like if you look at the Smith Rowe thing, you just you never you never promise you shown earlier in his career. Yeah, and, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And Fabio Vieira, but it, it was the other lad. But it, it just, that's what I think they kind of just need like nearly another kind of Odegaard, like or maybe another person that can come on with legs that can kind of unlock a door. They don't really have that. It's like Martin Eddie would stretch team, but. Even the kind yeah. of someone, everybody on party or, or a, a clinical, but they don't yeah, have anyone yeah. who's a clinical finisher, really. I, I, mm. I must say, Smith Road does have goals in him, uh, mm. and he comes on, he, he can he can be a great finisher around the box, but I don't think he's you know, Arteta doesn't, I don't think, sees anything in him at the moment, even though I, I remember, keep saying he sees something about him, but he doesn't seem yeah. to play he him. He looked great, didn't he, though? In his, in his, when he, yeah, he, got, when he, he kept he, he kept Arteta in a, in a job when <laughs> so, he started, like he looked like a proper, proper player, and they gave yeah. him the number 10 at Arsenal as yeah. well. Alex, I mean, that's a big kind of sign of trust. But... Yeah. So, like, look, they got yeah. uh, Trossel got that goal for them, and it was a brilliant finish. Like, it was one of them classic, you know, toe pokes. You know, remember when we were playing in school, like, the old toe poke <laughs> was frowned upon, you know, it's like, of course, oh, it's a toe poke. But that was like, you know, there's a place, there's a time and place for, for one of them, and uh, Trossel had like nailed it uh, in, in the top bins, as the lads would say. Yeah, um, that was very good. Just on the toe poke, I remember back in sixth <laughs> class in school, a friend of mine toe poked from. You know, <laughs> he was back in the fence and, you know, he, he didn't go in like it went way away from the goal, but it clocked the teacher right in the face. <laughs> and your man got like, you know, people started cheering and everything. It was brilliant. <laughs> so there's definitely a time for the topo. Yeah, we, we had a lad in our primary school and all he could do was topo. He couldn't do anything else. Like, yeah. you know, that was his, you know. <laughs> usually, they have big, his... usually they have big farmers. Are great for oh, did, this lad is a huge, huge farmer. Couldn't do anything else in the football. It's the steel toe, toe boots, like, you know, the steel toe <laughs> boots to be wearing oh. on the farm and just run across. <laughs> all they can do is topo and fight. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, all right, but no well, cla- class finish, and uh, after that, yeah, I thought like, yeah, it was it was a fairly professional second half. Um, uh, Odegaard got a, I suppose, a great goal, you could say. Like, I didn't see, I didn't think yeah. it didn't see him score from an angle, but he just put it away. But look, just another, you know, class, class performance from Rice. Thought he was just, yeah, you know, you could see he wasn't going to let this title slide, like, and he just had that, he has that mentality. You can actually see him fighting on the pitch, to be honest, and, and covering the yards. Uh, and again, yeah, Havertz had had a great game as well. So look, on to the next one. 
uh, professional performance. Uh, let's yeah, see what happens on Tuesday. Now is on, the, on the next one tomorrow night. I mean, you're home to Chelsea. Yeah. What do yeah. you think? I mean, given I'm, just... I'm hopeful. I was, I was, I was, I was really hoping the FA Cup game was going to go to extra time. Extra time. Yeah, I was praying um, it fucking didn't because if we did, yeah, like, we could have collapsed. A double whammy for both. Like, you know, I was just, I just wanted to see players walking off the pitch on the stretchers. Yeah, really, know, is what I, know, I was yeah. looking for. <laughs> as bad as it sounds, but no, look, um, I, I, th- I still think like Chelsea will be really defeated after that. Loss, I would think, yeah, and and I would think they really have nothing to play for for the rest of the season. They mm. might get a yeah. Europa League thing. So, looking at that aspect and coming off the back of the Wembley trip they had, I would think it's a good time to play them personally. Mm. Um, they're not better though, I think, have they? But they're yeah, very, they're a good so. team if they can start playing it together. But they still give up a lot of chances, I think. Did yeah, I just thought in the last few weeks that they've, they've looked. There have been signs of him. He's, le- he's left a lot of the players out to just have not served them. Like, he likes to start and like, like, they're not even getting a game now. He kind of just is... I wouldn't say he's a, he doesn't have a settled side because I don't know if there's such things as a settled side with the amount of players they have. But, um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see, like, because you know, they do have that European ambition to get into Europe. But, like, as you said, like, they, they probably, when we get onto that, like, yeah, could have uh, won that if they could Oh, God, yeah. Them. Like, we, we will chat about that because, I mean, I did this, the wrong team. The wrong team lost that game. If I'm being honest as a City yeah, fan, yeah. and the chances that were had, um, yeah, we'll get. Then you could ar- you could argue that the, I mean, Grant was but the wrong team maybe uh, like went through in the the Champions League game on the run of the two games. City probably yeah, no, fair, anyway, fair, yeah. fair point. Um, hmm. okay, so that's Arsenal. So we'll go to the other one. Uh, Liverpool had uh, another three points again. Professional display. They did what they needed to do. Fulham away. Could have been tricky, mm. but they made it. They made it look fairly straightforward. I thought. Um, Dan, anything you take? So I suppose Trent being back was a huge one. And yeah, and even when he, even against Atlanta, uh, seeing him back in the team just with his range of passing and, and that you can you can open up defenses and his overall play, I thought was was good against Atlanta for the seventy odd minutes he's on the pitch. And yeah, it was the same. I was surprised because Howard think had flagged it up there that you know Fulham are decent enough at home and yeah. there could be a potential balance. And maybe it's just a thing that they're kind of in each mode. Because I thought, like, considering we were playing away in Europe and looked fairly leggy in that last half hour against Atlanta, kind of felt that, you know, he made a lot of changes to the team that we'd be in maybe a bit of trouble. Um, but didn't think Fulham were great. Like, there's no real intensity no. in their play. And even the goal first half, was... first half, I thought yeah, they looked it... threatening. I thought, like, yeah. you know, there was a few kind of counter-press uh, chances that they, they mm. were kind of... They were true on goal, or well, not true on goal, but they were like basically it was a pass back, and if they hit the right, if hit the right striker, it was a it was a free shot. And on, on yeah, Allison, I, but... I, I thought though, even like in saying that, then like you know, if they had it just done what a lot of other teams have done, which is if they just had that held that whole uh, low block, we would we just run out of ideas. But like, we actually had a good team, even chance yeah. half and yeah. we had a good bit of the ball. But look, we got the job done. I, I thought it was dodgy when I looked at the team as well. I was like, oh, what is this going to go? Because it was another. Kind of big amount of changes to to the to the lineup. Um, what what did you make of Salah not starting? Yeah, and no, I'm not surprised. Like, if you, to be honest with you, if it was if it was a player who didn't have higher reputation than Salah, he would have been dropped long before now. Like, let's be honest, yeah. with you. you know, he's been very very poor since he came back from injury. And what's going been, on? Like, it's, it's he's, strange. He's isn't it? pass, yeah, he's been a passenger in, in in a few of the games. So like, there's no surprise that he was probably dropped. Like, um. That and missing chances as well. So look, it's great to see Jada back getting himself a goal. He actually wasn't great. He was rusting up a thought in the game, but yeah. that's that's him. Give him a chance and he'll take it. Um so look, it was nice to get a win. I forgot what a win fucking felt like, to be honest. So it was nice to kind of get a, a win and a, and I thought comfortable enough. I think once we kind of took control of the end second half, it was it was comfortable enough. Fulham never really looked like getting back into the game. So yeah. like there's a few players there, even like Gravenberg up his goal was a great goal, but he was very poor uh, up until he got to go. I thought he kept giving the ball away. He's very naive on the ball as well, trying like looking for too much time on it. But great to have Trent back. Like his free kick was just, you know, it's what you have to come to expect him though. Like yeah. he's, he he adds that as well. Like we don't really have another free kick taker really in our side as either. So it was yeah, um, it was great to get to get um to get back to winning ways. And look, Merseyside Derby coming up. Yeah, I was about week, to so. ask, what do you think yeah. on Wednesday evening? Yeah, and it was a Derby game, sorry, like our record is 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 impeccable nearly, you know, against Everton. You always fancy your chances of beating them. You kinda of hope that that big performance uh, and result that he got there, that was kind of a big three points to them. This is nearly a free hit. Um, playing Liverpool, don't expect, I don't think they really expect yeah. to take anything from the game. Um, I will, will dominate the ball. That will be a different, that'll be a more kind of game we played recently, which yeah. we haven't been able to break teams down, where Everton will sit very, very deep. 
you know, be very make it very, very difficult, slow the play down, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a different type of game to the Fulham game. And we're just gonna have to find a way to break them down. Like, look, they're, they're no great shakes this season, but in a derby game, there is always that added edge. Yeah, of, absolutely. Of it. So I, I do think I still think we'll be we we'll get the job done. I'd be more concerned about West Ham away, to be honest with you, even though I know the hammers aren't great, just find a hard ground to go to and I know that their ambitions maybe in Europe now are team big enough. But it's that'll be like nearly, you know, and kind of games that we've left now away from home, the Villa, West Ham, like they're they're, they're tough game away games as well. So Yeah. If um, if, if, if at least West Ham side turn up that is because they were Pants again at the weekend. Yeah, they yeah. were. Absolutely. Um, okay, elsewhere. So Luton won, Brentford five. That was a very big result for um, Brentford, more or less guarantees their safety, I think. Luton, though, um, bad result because, I mean, at home, running out of games to kind of save themselves and did no, no favourites to their goal difference either. <laughs> Sheffield United and Burnley, 4 1 to Burnley. I know we had said that Burnley are done and dusted but I mean they're only three points behind Nottingham Forest now albeit with a game less play, less to play but um, and then Burnley do have a tougher running though to be honest but uh, it just it adds a little bit to it Dan you said like they have they had to win that one weekend though didn't they yeah. Had, yeah. they they have like the absolute slightest possibility of saying up but like it's it's very very slight but uh, we'll see Villa 3 Bournemouth 1 um, so I suppose as well with the Champions League, the way we have all fallen, fifth place is now not likely going to be given to the Premier League. So I mean, the fight for fourth is uh, going to kind of it makes it, it it makes it even more now because I mean Villa are six ahead of Tottenham with two games more played. Yeah, so tight enough. Very tight. Tottenham still at the play Liverpool, Arsenal, City, uh, and City. City yeah. so. so I mean that could be brilliant for Villa. It could be awful for us. They're going to put in. They're going to basically fight to the death and. Could be at like uh, depends we'll like if they get yeah depends how long they'll hang in that race like who who, who when are they when are you guys playing the we'll second play last game second last game that yeah. there's a I was mentioned this last week we'll be done a, but then like there's a three day period the second last uh run of game so Sunday Monday and Tuesday the three mm. of us have our I think is it Villa or, Liverpool away to Villa Monday play Monday night I think yeah. Arsenal away to United on a Sunday and we're away to Spurs yeah. on a Tuesday so I think like, that look. Let's be honest. If if Tottenham need to, if if it means Arsenal win the league and Tottenham lose the game, like Tottenham will lose the game. No, Again. they won't. I Not guarantee they you, won't. they'll lose the game. No, hundred percent. I guarantee you. Ask any Tottenham fan, uh, they'll say yeah, that. I I actually don't think Tottenham will be a, a story come to that time anyway. Let's go away to Chelsea, play us, and let's play Arsenal. I actually think they'll be. You know, Villa, Villa, yeah, Villa, Villa, I think they're just more consistent than Spurs. The way the Spurs have been the last right. one, I, I think that could be, could be, as you said, they've nothing left to play for. I think it's their last home game, though, was this? That one? That's, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so maybe last home game, but yeah. So I wouldn't last home game, game given Arsenal yeah, 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 that would be the worst last home game. Just gonna say, <laughs> just gonna say to Howard, though, like, like when you're when, when Liverpool and uh, when we probably, when we were flagging about how Spurs will decide the title race, but the fact that myself and yourself, Howard, are in a position that we have to count on Spursy, oh, give us a favor, yeah, you're, yeah, you're in yeah, trouble. Yeah. No, yeah. I, won't, I won't be holding my breath. <laughs> um, all right, so Palace five, West Ham two. Um, great results, yeah, that brilliant results. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah, Palace are an odd team when they have certain players back playing, like they're they, 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 they're tough, they're tough to play, and they have some very uh, good quality players up front as well. Mm. But then again, West Ham as well. Just again, it's kind of the West Ham way. They they can be great West one week. Ham way. They can be great one week. They can be quite poor the next. What week, is the know? West Ham way? Yeah. <laughs> like, Ronald won't because... be happy with that. The West Ham way. Oh they yeah, so well, he's, well, not, he's not playing the West Ham way. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, what they call it? And um, what I uh, read on Sky Sports as well. Moyes looks to be being replaced. There's some lad coming over as a sporting Lisbon lad. Yeah, he was yeah, into the Liverpool, talk, but yeah. there's just talking to him and talking to Lapetecki. There's. Few lads. Now I actually messaged Ronan about it, and he said that uh, it's just typical of Sullivan. I think is what he said that just he gets the fans. He wants to get the season tickets in, so he gives the fans a bit of hope that fucking you know. Well, <laughs> he's just going to. Well, he's just going. This is a cynical view, obviously, but uh, that that this happens every season apparently. That you know the top okay. boys is going, and then you know fans are like, oh yeah, they get, you know, gonna breathe a bit of fresh air into West Ham and get the season yeah. tickets in, and then Moisey signs a new deal. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, and the final league game of the weekend was the probably the most controversial one. Everton 2, not far as nils. It was a huge win for Everton, but it was very much marred by the fact that there were three 
uh, very questionable decisions given, or sorry, not given um, penalties to, to Notts Forest. Ashley Young involved in all three of them. <laughs> um, so just a few specific questions. First of all, you've seen the incidents. Like I Boston, think, yeah, all, I think all, I think all three were penalties. Genuinely, yeah. what did you, what do you think on that one? I, I think it's all two. Yeah, yeah, um, Howard. Yeah, yeah. I think like you know when you look at the back at all, and they're all like eight or nine out of ten penalties. Yeah. You know, and if you add all eight or nine, <laughs> out at least of one 10, of them. three out three <laughs> times, like you know, you're surely going to get get one at least. Yeah. I thought probably the, the most obvious one I thought was probably the last one. Yeah. God, you can't, like, mm-hmm. you know, it's so clumsy and, yeah. like, so obvious. And it's it's a very hard one to, like, to fake. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's not, you're, he's the wrong side of him. And, like, he, he, the two of them fall at the same time. You know, it's, it's, I'm surprised the ref didn't give it. What, like, Anthony Taylor doesn't, yeah. like, what's, what's he doing? Like, he's supposed to be this, well, I, I don't rate him at all as a, as a ref, personally. No. I've seen, remember he got demoted there. Um, it was, I can't remember what incident. He got promoted to the championship and then he made a half suit howler in the championship. And then they, were like, they brought him back up. It's like, oh, he's done his penance. And it's <laughs> like, he just, he just had a he's terrible game. He's learned from his mistakes. Isn't it just insane that like, VAR was brought in to very much take the spotlight off referees and it's done the exact opposite. But how I it'll be interested because uh, uh, with the whole forest now, you know, and the audio will come out, of course, like it has all the other... Yeah. Horrendous incidents that that have occurred this season. It'd be interesting to hear, like, what, yeah. what were Barr actually saying? Because mm. you said Howard, and I, said, and I agree with you. Like, they they were eight or nine out of ten. Definitely yeah. two, at least two of them. I thought were 100%. definite. Handball is just this season. You don't fucking know what to expect with what is and what isn't handball. I thought it was handball, but yeah. You know, the other two, he, he yeah. definitely took him in the box both times. Well, like, you, you know? it's the consistency again. Like, you know, yeah, you could yeah. say, like, they could they could say on the audio for the first one, it's like, oh, he he catches him, but not enough for him to go down. You know, that'll be their, that'll be their. Uh, yeah, they're, they're you, you look clear, at a video. Yeah, clear and obvious yeah. or something Yeah, like that. yeah, but then they look at it, you, look, you hear another audio of something similar. They're like, oh, oh he makes contact with him. There's contact in yeah. the box. It's like, it's a penalty. And that's kind of but Sorry, back to Howard. what we were saying last time, you know, I was like, it's better off just having the same crew of lads in the in the box, yeah. making the same decisions each mm. time because it gets, yeah. it gets messy when you're moving people around like to different things and different people have different ideas of what is subjective and what's the, not. No. The aftermath of it though is, you know, it's 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 a bit ridiculous. Like the the, the forest is it's it's like a soap again. opera. Yeah, yeah like fu- it is funny. Like it is cast. Like it's... <laughs> we're just on that, right? So we we've all we all three of us agree that forest have yeah, been, yeah. like cases to be pissed off. I think. And look, <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day, it's costing them points. That like we'll see what happens. Could mean they stay up or go down. But I mean, in their response, they sent out a tweet suggesting that um Stuart Atwell, because he was a Luton fan, that influenced the decisions of VAR, etc. Did they go too far with that? Because, I mean, that seems to be the whole area that people are annoyed about. Like, Neville and Carragher are saying they were like uh, school children. Their response are being pure childish and they need to kind of basically cop on type thing. But, I mean, when you look at it, step back from it and see how much is involved money-wise, um, do they have a point to be aggrieved or did they go too far with what they said on Twitter or X? Sorry. <laughs> X. X. But like, yeah, so <laughs> in Clamber came out and kind of, they, think they clarified that they didn't ask for them to be set down. That was the thing yesterday. They were, there was talk around whether or not they were trying to influence to get them off par. Yeah. I think wasn't it originally, but that wasn't. Well, apparently, Clattenburg, yeah, uh, Clattenburg called up his mate Web Webby, <laughs> Webby, uh, yeah. and said, yeah. "Get him off the the. He's a Luton fan. Get him off." And yeah, Webb was it's, like, it's, oh. it's, it's, the whole thing is it's just it's it's really strange, isn't it? Like though the, you know, they've been at this kind of antics a while. As I said, when we played them and and, and got to take goal against them and their antics after that, I kind of just yeah. disliked them. Oh and, yeah, and, and and I just feel that like this is now the rock cat and rock in. I know that got a lot of negative um, reaction in the in the media world around what what what's he doing there. It's actually, his his advisory role is basically yeah, that wasn't him. Yeah. Do, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I just um, I, could, I think I think it's a lot about nothing really. Like they, that the, the decisions were poor. You know, the decisions every week or most weeks that are fucking poor. Um, fair enough, there was three of them in one game with yeah. the same and the same fucking scumbag, Ashley Young. I don't like it at all. I don't know but I never liked Ashley did Young. You, uh, I, you I know, don't like I don't like him either, but oh. did you see his response this morning? Man, it was so funny. I seen well, I didn't see it. What did he say? When I seen his post match interview, it was so funny to see that. No, I didn't watch it. I just saw what he wrote on X this morning or yesterday. He's just a Justin Timberlake song, yeah, Crime, Crime River. River. 
Yeah. No, I just it was, I just thought it was funny. It was very good. Should have played I mean, that one of the bird shitting in his mouth. That would have yeah, 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 yeah. back. Yeah. Give him back. But, but the thing is, lads, like, what, 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 what is it? They're they're they've gone now. They've they're looking for the audios. But even if the audios come back, like, yeah. what? Like we we've had the 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 Liverpool absolute complete fuck up, and it was like they were issued with an apology, and that was that. Yeah. Like, that's all you're gonna get out of these things. Sorry, yeah, we made a really big error. We try and improve. Like what 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 did what's I, I, I want to hear the audio. I'm not going to. I do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> Give me of course. the audio. Course, I, mean, yeah. I just imagine, I suppose there's another angle to it as well that I'm interested to see what you think. If Stuart Atwell is, a, is, is in fact, a <laughs> Luton <laughs> Town fan, you know, if he is, in fact, a Luton Town fan, Die should hard. he be have should he be have put in that position given that well, Nats Forrester is yeah. one, one place above Luton? But well, we, we talked about this before, didn't we? Howard, Howard oh, went, yeah. we, we done Howard Investigates, didn't we? And he went yeah, by yeah, yeah, or to yeah, Dubai yeah. and was, was working out what was going on over there and the shoddy sort of operations. Um, yeah. But like the thing is, I suppose it's it's natural that you're going to have yeah. at some point that geography wise are going to have links or, you know, you can make that kind of argument. I'm sure it's not the first and yeah. it won't be the last. Um, and that as well. Like, you know, like there was that it, it, talk at the weekend about the, the ref that ref the city City Chelsea game who didn't give oh, the yes. handball who was over reffing over in Saudi and was fucking yeah, paid, yeah. paid by yeah. the Man- Manchester City establishment by the sounds of things so like you know I suppose as you said Howard unless you can put a, a kind of a right ads, this is our team of VAR people for the year this is it yeah yeah this yeah. is it Go oh, team VAR. And Petrullo would be like, right, you know, bring them into a fucking dark room and go oh, <laughs> grill, grill them, fucking waterboard them, be like, have you any affiliations to any clubs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it out of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah get it out of them. Or beat it out of them. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is, look, I... Look, I think there's a bias that's there. I think, you know, if your man does have, a, let's say, some sort of affiliation Forceress, with Luton, right. like, he can make a case for himself not to give them penalties. He can. But yeah. in, the, in, the, in the light of day, like, if anyone who is unbiased looks at them decisions, you're given one of them, especially course, after not absolutely. giving the first one, absolutely. and especially after not getting the second one. You make a bit of common sense. You say, right, surely this last one is a penalty because the other two were on the... On the borderline, mm. this one, you know, they deserve this one. You know, yeah, a bit of common yeah. sense nearly. Of course, of course. But, but just for like that game though, like it, it wasn't as if it was Luton versus or Forest versus like Spurs or like is in like Everton and and it was Everton Forest. So surely, like, yeah, Everton are down there as well. Yeah, they would have yeah. wanted a would have wanted a middle end. I don't yeah. know. Like it wasn't as if that that uh, in fact that he was a Luton fan that he would have wanted Everton over Forest, would he? Maybe he's an Luton and Everton fan. I don't know. It's just, just I can't wait to hear the audio. No, I know what you mean, Dan. I know. What yeah. you mean. War, like obviously, we know. Like, well, we presume everything that comes out of the audio would be absolutely fine. But just imagine, well, if, you know, the audio. You know what, they're not. They won't release the audio, maybe, and there'll be questions asked then. <laughs> yeah, but well, I, what, what, what happens? Them, do you reckon? Well, no, you just we get, we get a fine will they, for what he said. We get a fine for something like that. Imagine if that was there in the first penalty was going. He goes, yeah. Ah. And then the second one, fuck off, not a hope. They'll probably get a fine. I think Arsenal, Arteta got, uh, Arteta got banned for a game. Yeah. And, and I think the club got a fine as well. So, yeah, they'll yeah, do something anyway. Something, yeah. But uh, I look, I think, I think there's some bad decisions made there. Like, you know, like course, any layman right. looking at that would know that they're bad decisions. So, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> do, do you think that Pavarotti runs the Twitter page or the text yeah. page? Up in the stands. Just yeah, yeah like, like, fuck it. I think he's funny. I think he, we need to see more of him. I think uh, he's <laughs> run, running onto the pitch, the poor lad. He can waddling onto the pitch. Um, okay, we we'll move on. Uh, FA Cup semi final as well. Semi finals as well took place this weekend. So Man City were at one, Chelsea nil. And I will be completely honest here that um, with the chances that Chelsea had. Chelsea could and probably should have been two or three nil, two or three nil up at half time. Didn't take their chances, and a lot of them fell to one man in particular, Nicholas Jackson, who was on wrongly getting abused online today because of it. Um, if they had a proper striker, they'd be in the final, one hundred percent. And we were nowhere near our best. A lot of luck involved. Greatish. Penalty decision. It should have been a penalty. I know Dan. I was saying to you after the game, it wasn't a penalty just to try and wind <laughs> wind you up, but it, it was absolutely a penalty. Um, 
and yeah, we got through. I'm. I was glad for Bernardo Silva to get the goal. It was a little bit of redemption after his awful penalty against Real Madrid during the week. Yeah, it's but I mean, penalty. it was off. It was such a bad penalty. Um, but yeah, look, we took our chance. Chelsea didn't take theirs. At the end of the day, we're in the final. Simple as because we took our chances. We defended. Not great. I mean, Chelsea opened us up a couple of times. Um, yeah. So I mean, like, not much else to say. Like, feel free to kind of critique the game. But I mean, I, I don't even think it was. I think any player who who is onside from his own half and is true one one to the keeper. Yeah. Like you just, it doesn't matter if it was fucking Thiago Silva, you would have known to take a shot. But, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. It was yeah, just yeah. so so poor. Well, it was the Casado chances, was it? Like, there's a few lines that got through, yeah, and it was just yeah, literally yeah, a yeah. square ball, and they just couldn't get their feet up or feet sorted out. The Chelsea pairs, whatever's going. On. Yeah. It was almost like. Panic! They're not. They, we shouldn't be getting these chances. Oh yeah. God, what do we do? Yeah, and true, true. You can kind of tell then as the game went on when they hadn't taken their chances. It was either going to go to extra time, but I think like you could kind of like see City scoring then at that mm. stage. I think. Well, like the longer, yeah, like the longer the game went on, you've seen in games over the years. Like you know, if a team is chance after chance missing them, yeah. eventually one will come to the other team and they'll put it away. Like you've, we've mm. all seen it, but I mean. Yeah. It this has been like a consistent thing with Nicholas Jackson over the season. Like, I mean, he hasn't been prolific in front of the goal. He's got a few goals, but he's I mean, got a great one against Everton. Do you know, he took yeah. it on, took it down, and one kind of movement and scored yes. a great goal. Yeah, against Everton. But like, it just he, he has been a lot of that, and he's not the only one. Different. Apparently, he apparently he was a brilliant finisher with Villarreal before he came. Um, off the wing, uh, yeah, off the wing, uh, yeah, sure. and yeah. but apparently his finishing was class. But they're saying that because of the pressure playing in a big team like that, leading the line, you know, mm. it can it can be a bit overwhelming, I suppose, for for certain people. Probably, like uh, we know, Chelsea, like this season and last season, haven't been any great shapes at all. But even a penalty incident there last weekend with Palmer and the other two lads kind of fighting over the who takes the penalty, etc. Like, that, that was a joke. It was that ridiculous. That was pathetic. It, it was ridiculous, but I mean, it just shows yeah. you that, like, you know, that's petulance kind of, that's, and, yeah, oh. the petulance kind of, everyone, like, they're not kind of following Pochettino's, like, instructions, etc. It's just, it's a, it's a bit of a joke at the moment. Now, Dan, you're right, there have been improvements, I think, over the last few weeks, definitely, and I think Cole Palmer has a lot to do with that. Yeah, well, he does. He does. We took his um, goal out of the team to be exactly. scrapping for relegation, I think, would they? Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. I agree 100%. But, I mean, with, if, if they were to bring in a proper striker and, I mean, I, I, what's it, Gusto, right back? I mean, he's not, yeah. not the worst player. They're, they're he's all right. He's done all right, I think, yeah. yeah he's, 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 Connor yeah. Gallagher, I think, but is Cucurella a is Cucurella, get rid of him. I get rid of yeah, I, to be honest, Connor Gallagher is good, but I'd be I, if I was charged I'd be get rid of him. I, I don't okay. mean to bad. I know he's a great work thing, but like if you want to be a top top team, like yeah, um, in top four, or whatever, you he's not going to be. He's our captain, though, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah I like he does the job. He's kind of like a poor man's Aaron Ramsey. He reminds me of run around, but like you have Enzo and Casado there, like there that's going to be that a base. Casado has been an absolute joke. He has to be great. Christ has Almighty, no, he has For the money they spent on him, 100 and what, 15, 20 Call million? Call him the 150 million pound dodge, remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you'd wonder, though, if he was playing in a much more structured and managed team like Liverpool, he could, he could be like a completely different player. I don't think he's a bad player, to be honest. I think it's just, mm. he's just going along with the, the Chelsea train at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and you have Silva I, then, who's like, what, he's he's whatever age, at the back line with Chalabar and... They yeah. can't control. If you think about it, when he played in in the Brighton midfield, like McAllister controlled the game, controlled the ball. Or like when you look at Chelsea play, it's like it's really frantic. It's like it doesn't. I don't think it kind of suits uh, Caicedo's game. But, you know, like they don't really have it under the player that gets on the ball and kind of can dictate yeah. play. So it's it's it's, yeah, it's a different kind of setup. And you're right, that can probably argue it doesn't suit. But at the same time, it's a, it's a core of fucking million nearly in your, your you know in Chelsea's midfield, like. Oh, yeah, 100%, um, it's, it's hard, 100%. It's hard to not kind of expect more, but look, anyway, I thought they were unlucky on the day. Um, thought they put up a quite a good performance. Whatever it is this season against City, they seem to be able to raise their game yeah. uh, against them. Uh, interesting as well, just to touch on the Pep, uh, the Pep rant afterwards, because I actually thought you had a fair enough point about it, because I never really thought about it. Oh, the, the fact man, that they played the Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, fair Yeah, point. well, I just, I just thought his point was like that everybody else, like, Teams that weren't playing in Europe are playing on the Sunday, so obviously it's the it's the television that has dictated that. Of course, um, I'm sure. But um, yeah, you don't usually see him get to. He was he was quite rattled by um, by it, but I think it makes it more impressive actually when you think about the 
still out because they were out, they were out on their feet against yeah, um, yeah definitely uh, uh, against uh, against Madrid in, in, in extra time as were Madrid but like I think it was in fairness like that was it one where it was worth more to them the fact that mm. they gone through that slog that they didn't have the extra day but it is a bit mind boggling that like uh, fair enough you couldn't predict that they were going to go to extra time in the, in the Champions League game beforehand but like why it wasn't on the Sunday considering of course so. but anyway yeah so um, you're into the final. Into the final versus what we thought was <laughs> so so close versus Coventry City, but not yeah. to be. Uh, it probably wouldn't go down as one of the best comebacks in FA Cup history, but again, it unfortunately wasn't to be. Um, it was it was a crazy match. I was watching it and I was kind of flicking between that and Fulham and Liverpool. And I flicked over to Fulham and Liverpool, then I went back to uh City or sorry United and Coventry because I seen a message in a WhatsApp group of men saying. <laughs> The FA Cup game is crazy. So I went back and they were up 2 0 when I left. And then it's fucking 3 3 3. Like, so I mean. And they were so quiet. I, well, we, we flicked over because I think the Liverpool game went to. No, it, was, it started before the Liverpool game, wasn't it? I think it was like the first yeah. half I seen of it. And uh, like, like it was so comfortable for them. As in, like, of course, yeah. Coventry, I was like, dude, Coventry are never going to get a goal. Like, I was looking at going, this is this is a one minute traffic here. And then we, I seen on the phone, it was 3 0. And then it was literally, yeah, like you, WhatsApp. Thing it was like this is fucking crazy, oh, yeah. And, and it was three three. So I actually didn't see how they are like what the, the what uh, kind of um transpired there that kind of got them back into it and, and what happened in United, but like it was just meant. There was a headline this morning I thought it was brilliant, the most humiliating victory ever. <laughs> I just thought I, I thought it's I thought it summed it up brilliantly. That was very good, yeah. yeah. Very good headline. Because I mean, get, yeah, go on. No, it's just like they came back so well, and I mean then an extra time, they hit the bar twice. And they had that goal that was literally a centimetre. Ah, uh, so I mean, I'd say, like, as you said, if there's no VAR, that would have been that would have been given as a... I don't uh, know if the... I don't know if the... I don't think the linesman gave, get, get, put his flag up for it. I think it was yeah. just... It, it, he couldn't have, because there was about a minute and a half before... I don't yeah. think I don't think he had. I think I don't think so. I don't yeah. think so. No, no. Um, yes. but the yeah the the yeah the yeah. Cel- the penalties anyway or uh, the yeah. celebrations afterwards were were uh, yeah, funny. A for, yeah, couple things. Well, you see, Hoyland <laughs> kind of going up to the fans cheering like mad, and he turns around and nobody's so running. Really? To him. Uh, yeah. Oh, so weird, wasn't it? Like half yeah. the guys who were like, uh, I'd say it was a relief though. When you think about it, lads, so like it was because they, in fairness, they've taken. You know they have become, and and it's not a new thing, but they have become like the the laugh and stuff kind of yeah. the comedy, the ongoing comedy show. And it was kind of like you know we were into nearly a finale there that they were managed to go and <laughs> the season, the season riding on this. I mean, like they're they're they do get an awful lot on on online abuse as it yeah. is and for us both the decline and how erratic things are that they're at the best of times, but like. The relief, I'd say. I know they were saying about they like, can't celebrate or whatever like that. But I imagine that so many of us kind of like, thank fuck that we could actually, I can actually show our faces in public between now and the end of the season because yeah. it was, it was, it was, it was that huge. I think that they managed to get over the line. Oh, yeah. but at the same time, you look at it going like, wow, like they've never made the best point of all, which is like that nine, is it nine of that eleven that were playing free night or having playing free night like would start regularly is in a lot of the injuries that they have. Mm. Uh like Sashaw would start Martinez, but like outside of that, all the rest of them are starting. So like yeah. there is no excuse. It's not as if there's throughout their team there's injuries and loads of key positions. They don't have a centre forward or anything like that. So you know you have to kind of put into perspective that they've they have actually in in recent weeks and in recent games, you know, where where we've seen them just fold and it seems like to be the case again. And they they Look, they managed to get over the line, and if they'll go and win up, win the cup, it'll become a distant memory. But for like for Ten Hag, you know, we were already talking here, and oh, you yeah. mentioned about other people being linked. Like, there's people constantly linked with the job, but how he turned around after it and said, We shouldn't be embarrassed, we should be delighted. Yeah, that's, that's and, another, and, another beautiful interview. By like, like his interviews, no, see, his interviews like, even, even, even like it's about performances, but like his interviews, if you're a United fan or even just like someone involved in United. Looking at that with some sort of a uh, any sort of half wit could yeah. like look at that. Like, I, no, I'm not. I watched. I'm not even joking. After at the press conference afterwards on YouTube, he um <laughs> he mentions again that they should have been two 0 up against Arsenal. No way. I swear to God. Oh my God, he's obsessed. <laughs> he's just yeah. like, what is going on with this man? Like he's just like, it's like this is the one thing that he thought the one great performance he thought his, his club had in the season, yeah. and he keeps harping on about it. And I, look, I, he's gone. I think he's gone. I I thought yesterday, like had Coventry won, 
I thought he genuinely would have been sacked in the morning. I thought yeah. we would all wake up to Ten Hag is maybe even resigned as opposed to being sacked. Yeah, but yeah. Um, look, he's... Or he would have come out if they had a loss until they played well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honest to God, yeah. But yeah. I do think it's inevitable now that you're in the summer, um, especially with Jim Radcliffe in the... He doesn't look Coffee, impressed. You know? They keep going to him no. in the last few games. No. I look at him in the crowd. He, he looks like a man that's going off. Look, this, this, this has to change. Yeah, so, I think you know, I do. I do think Ten Hag will be gone at the end of the season. So I mean, the whole it just, it's like I said, it just keeps going round and round. And, circus, and event, yeah. yeah, eventually, like surely they're going to land on someone or something that works. You know who that is? I have no idea. Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah. I'm more likely going to be in the Europa League now and become like Andy Ward. The talk was that. They didn't have a massive amount of money to play with, and now with the lack of commercial revenue that they get from the Champions League, it must be interesting to see actually, you know, how much money have they got to show at it coming yeah, summer as well, you know? Absolutely. And I mean, like, yeah. if if top four is Champions League, fifth and sixth, Europa, seventh, so I mean, yeah. could they could they be in the Europa Conference League next season? I, I think the fact that they, yeah, I think like, that's not out of the realm because you just don't know what with them. You, yeah. for basket, you don't know what, what's up with them. Today, like, is a Sheffield United and Burnley now at home the next two oh, games. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'd say there's, 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 there'll be it'll be it'll be opening now when you look at the table. Though. I can't imagine that to be the poor thing is, is long gone for them now. Like, you, if you think about it now, like in the summer, if they were trying to get a few players off the books, like, is there any yeah. of them you take? And I'm not being smart, but like, yeah, but the ones that could be up for <laughs> up for grabs in the summer to sell. They're not going to sell. <laughs> no, they're not going to sell unless, like, do you know what I mean? Like, you look at like like what what assets have they got? You get a few pounds for Rashford. Not going to sell Fernandez. Rash is the one you can look at that going when, like, he, he's really been off it. Like, is he yeah. one you could try and cash in you on? You might get 50 million for him, maybe at but, max. Yeah. But they don't have many, you know, throughout the ranks of players. And, like, that, that, like, McTom needs to be one of their standards. They're trying to flog him. I don't won't get. Yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. No, they're in trouble. They're in trouble financially, I'd say, from that aspect. And even, mm-hmm. like, even, you know, United, they have, there's one fee for United, one fee for everyone else as well. Yeah, they're trying true. to buy someone. So, like, they'll, they'll struggle to pick up anyone um, for a good value. Uh, mm-hmm. I could see. We will see what happens, but I think we can all agree that Eric is on his way during the summer. Um, right, so next segment involves all three of our uh, beloved teams, Europe. Where did it all go wrong? In one week, everything changed. I'll start with City. Um, I actually thought we played quite well last Wednesday night. Um, we gave away a sloppy goal, bad defending, but in terms of controlling the play and just chance after chance but not taken eventually we did um but it came down to penalties and we were found out by a team that just won't lie down and yeah yeah what i mean what did you think of city last Wednesday night do you even i know uh, howard howard you were watching the arsenal no but i watched I like i watched uh i watched the extended highlights i watched uh, the extended highlights last week like they're great they've been great games like you know what i mean mm, yeah. um i think like what i heard is that the a lot of the, the Arsenal performance in the Etihad at that time was a bit of a blueprint for the way Madrid um approached yeah. it. Apparently yeah. Ancelotti uh was saying that like so that that idea of like just kind of half parking the bus, I suppose, and just being defensively sound, it's it's kinda it's mad that Madrid, you know, with all the quality that they're able to just do that, I, I suppose, and, and and get and you know, get a grind out a result. To be honest, that's the only way they could have got through the tie was I think the way they did it. They weren't gonna blow City away like after the three three. I think it had yeah. to have gone down nearly the penalties. Her uh, choice keeper. I'm, I'm yeah, listening. I'll. I'll, I'll I'm they, had couple, perhaps. they had one or two breakaways in the extra time. I thought maybe they could have yeah. one. Um, yeah, absolutely. But... That, um, Vinicius and Rodrigo. His yeah, name Rodrigo, is, Rodrigo. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah. you know they're both very very good players. And I mean, yeah. Mbappe is coming into that team. Bellingham, I don't know if you saw his touch that set up the goal. It yeah. was it was yeah. fantastic. Was just... And there's another Brazilian lad, a young lad coming into that team as well. They oh, bought. Yeah, Hendrick is it? Oh, Hendrick, yeah, that, that, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's it. Too. Too. So, I mean, look, um, yeah, it's it's very disappointing. I did think that we would win that game um, comfortably, to be honest. I thought we would win that game, but, I mean, we just could not break them down. They are a very good team. They have a great manager, and they were able to bring on the likes of Modric, who can kind of control the game, and who still bossed a couple of City players as well. He's 38 years of age. I mean, he's just... He looks it as well now, doesn't he? I he see does, when he yeah. come on. I honestly, when he came on, I looked at him and going, fuck me, he looks dishevelled. Yeah, oh, he looks... What's he doing with his money? He looks like... The stick out. Honestly, he looks like Gandalf or something <laughs> like that, you know. But look, um, you're up not to be. We will have to try again next season. Um, Howard, what did you make of Arsenal and Bayern? 
Um, yeah, I think, look, on paper, we would have said, like, it's the best time to play Bayern over the last few seasons. But if you, if you really look at into it, like, they have... They still have uh just because Bayern Leverkusen are are are, be, are run away with the um uh, the Bundesliga doesn't mean that Bayern have been awful like you know what I mean they've actually had a higher points total this time than they had oh. last last two seasons so like it's not like they've been um completely out the boil I suppose with Kane like and the, the key thing is they have the experience over Arsenal it was a fifty fifty game overall to be honest it could have went either way I thought uh like Arsenal kind of did. They didn't want to lose it in the first mm-hmm. half. It was all very cagey. Like they didn't really go for it. Um, which you could understand. Like you know, they didn't want to actually just push forward because basically, by Byron, what well, Bayern did in the first leg, um, killed us. That like it was the two yeah. goals they gave away in the first leg or it was the, was the reason why Arsenal got knocked out. We we gave them a penalty and we get we gave them a the the other breakaway as well. Like so, it's it was it wasn't. I don't think it wasn't to be, but I don't think the team. Uh, has enough uh, Champions League experience in it, the Arsenal team, to really take it and go. Like, like even with the Madrid game now, if they had gotten through and played Madrid, would have loved to have seen that. But I really don't know if, if the, you look at that Madrid team and the nuance they have about playing in them big games, like even the way they played against City there. Like, it, like they, uh, that Arsenal team, I just don't think they have it in the Champions League. It's just different. Like, you have Rice. He hasn't really played Champions League. Saka, first season. Yeah. Odegaard, you know, hasn't really played in the Champions League, so it's 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 tough when your big player is Saliba. Like Saliba looks a, a kind of a shell of the player he is in the Premier League since he played in the like kicking balls away and you know yeah. flustered and stuff like that. So look, let's see what happens. I think it's it'll be like that Man City progress. I think in the Champions League where mm-hmm. Arsenal were, you know, um, it'll be that kind of every year. Do you think they're going to do really well? And uh, it'll take a few years, I think, before they actually can get. Uh, to a final. So, our, so we went. Sorry, so we went into the Champions League in 2011, and we won it in 2013. 12 years. So in 12 years' time, Howard. 12 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe not that long. <laughs> I think. I think though, for Munich, like, I think it was the fact as well that they were pretty much out of the title race. That was all. Yeah, right. maybe. maybe yeah. If it had been, you know, I think that kind of was would have been one thing that I think went in their favor. You, you know, the Munich usually always score home, but that's the other thing. It's kind of like. Arsenal needed to yeah. go into that game in the Allianz Arena with a lead. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah. score. Like, um, and I actually it was, I was impressed at Munich over the two legs. I think they're good to watch. I haven't watched a lot of Munich this season now, but I think they're they have a lot of really good players. Um, and the semi final there is not a foregone conclusion that Munich couldn't go on and win it yeah. after mm. being in a row off their season was over. Like the fact as well that Tuchel's on the way out the door and the players are still putting their performances. I think there's an awful lot as well about the uh, Yeah, I gotta say now. Neuer is some baller altogether. Like he's yeah. just his his this distribution is crazy. You know, Cami is like I think it's like mm-hmm. his 140 game or something crazy in the Champions League, right. something mad that's so, all like there, he's there a long time, isn't he? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But like yeah, yeah, look, I I yeah, you'd like to yeah, you'd like to think I'd say Madrid would beat them, but you wouldn't know. Just on that, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um so who do you think will win the Champions League now? I... I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with Madrid. Yeah, uh, I yeah. I I go Munich because I think if you look at over the the, the two teams that were I think Munich, Munich were more impressive against Arsenal than Madrid were against. Like if you look at City, absolutely dominated Madrid for the majority of the, the game at the had. I just think if you look at the them flair players, the likes of Sane, like Canary, Sane was one real over over two legs. Yeah. like them lads are all like like Madrid. Is, Madrid I think would 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 um. Might struggle to cope with them, and and again, it's the cane factor as well. We're all slagging, you know, all the slagging he's getting. We we'll still walk away with the biggest one of all come True. in a few games time. But I think that I go for Munich. Yeah, I think actually overall of the teams that are left in it, um, yeah, Munich. It would be interesting if it ends up being a Madrid uh, PSG final with the whole Mbappe. Day. What's the crack there? Yeah, I put that up the yeah. other day. There's no actual, no official words that he's owned there. Yeah, he's there? gone, I think, but it's all. I don't think there's, not, there's nothing official, but. Why I mean, is there nothing official? It's weird. Well, maybe something to do with the Champions League. Maybe they don't want, I don't know if they're playing each other. Probably something for that stuff, exact maybe. reason, Dan. Maybe like yeah. you can imagine like the papers. If something was official, Mbappe is absolutely going to Real Madrid and then at PSG mm. meet Madrid in the final. It's just probably not worth the hassle. Don't announce mm. anything until the season is over, maybe, but. um. Mm. Yeah, we both take Madrid. Howard, who do you think? Madrid as well. Yeah, Sorry, I think. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. yeah, I think just because the the way the tie falls, I think it's burn about a second leg. I'd say that would be a big help to to Madrid. 
But let's see. It's interesting. No, no English teams left, which is kind of yeah. surprising, isn't it? And as it, I, it is, yeah. I think, um, I think it'll be Madrid. I'd love if it was Dortmund. Oh yeah. I yeah, don't. Yeah. I don't think it will be. But I'd love I watched that. I watched the yeah the highlights of that game. It was wasn't the the, the two teams weren't great. Now to be honest. Fair enough. Um, Dan, Liverpool. No yeah, Europe. No, no, no European winners this season. What do you think? But, what happened? No, I think. Well, I just think the first leg they were. Yeah. Beyond terrible, whether or not they had already kind of felt they were going to get to the final, and just but they weren't. I know he cut made six changes, which you know there, there wasn't any rhythm or anything like that. But like they were so bad, and in Paris Atlanta again had to turn over the game and over the two legs. Even in the second leg, I thought once they found out the way we were playing, they kind of found a way to to um, stop us. Yeah, the the Italians, well. like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was, never enough. No, I think Salah had to take that chance uh, at yeah. the end of the first half. You're going in two 0 up. I think you know it would have been a different game. But as the longer it went on, and Liverpool had had ideas. Like, the first leg that killed them, deck, like it was. Of course, was, yeah, you know, absolutely. Was, uh, and and you're looking at it, look at where Atlanta are on the table there in Italy. Like, that, that's one that really is that way. And I think that added factor of the fact that the dream final in Dublin it makes it even more of a signal, To be honest, of course, yeah. But yeah. You kind of look at the Europa League if you were in a title race. Kind of looking at it going, yeah, you'd like to win it, but the fact that it was in Dublin had that extra kind of a uh, absolutely anyway. Yeah. So yeah, but they were they were they were they were definitely uh, well bet over the two legs. I thought for two legs they, they didn't deserve to they didn't deserve anything got exactly what they deserved. And uh, yeah, it's very disappointing because I think when you look at what's left outside of Leverkusen, there, you know, it's it, it was yeah, uh, it's Marseille winnable. Marseille versus Atlanta now, Roma versus Leverkusen. Here, you know, I think. Again, the, the final against the Everclusen would have been a tasty uh, encounter, yeah. uh, encounter as well, just the way they're going. Like you know, but um, yeah, it's it's, it's very disappointing. There's no excuses for it. They really what what was left there, they should have been winning that. And yeah, it's just it's interesting. We we talked here about this is probably the best the the best chance that English teams had had with the fall off and drop off yeah. in, in Europe that they had of maybe taking yeah, taking yeah. yeah, take a lot. And yet here we are with uh, only the mighty Villa left. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just actually before we go on to Villa, who didn't go in the Europa League now? So Marseille, Atlanta, uh, Leverkusen. Le- Le- Leverkusen, Leverkusen will do the travel. Travel, I think they'll do the travel now. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Be brilliant, uh, unreal from to just do that. Like, uh, you know what I mean, in his first see season, them, see them yesterday against Dortmund, yeah. ninety-six minute equaliser. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what sort of like? I don't know. It's 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 insane. I don't. I'd love to. I don't. I didn't look up the stat of how many, but yeah. they must have done that eight, nine, ten times this season. Got, you like, wonder, goal. like, I mean. Again, like, where will he end up? Because, I mean, with all respect to Leverkusen, he's not staying there for, like, his life. So he will uh, eventually move on. So yeah. he, he, The way, way it's looking, though, like, <clears throat> when you look at the the while well, he's still there, yeah. probably, they have a bit of few pounds from back up in the summer. Like, you, you'd, you'd imagine that they'll be a force even in the Champions League next year. They'll be decent. Mm. Oh, look at this, not Nick at the moment, anyway. Uh, but he'll have to pick up the jobs, I think, won't he? Because if you yeah, look at it, so. Ancelotti, has he long left at Madrid? Probably not. No. If you look at all the top jobs and the and the, the Munich thing is just a bit of a mess at the moment. So what way that'll go and what way even in a year's time they could be looking for a new manager again to come with the league. You never just yeah. go in another league, you know, be back in from, you know. Yeah. You don't know what would happen with us either, who's gonna come in for us and how they get on the cookie and their Moy's job year in and like fuck get him out. And you know, so he he'll have to pick up the jobs you'd imagine. He will. Uh, uh, I, yeah. I, I agree. Um yeah. I suppose finally, yeah. Um Aston Villa are kind of the last ones uh, left. Villa versus Olympiacos, Fiorentina versus Club Bruges. I mean, realistically, they should be getting by Olympiacos. And Fiorentina were in the final against West Ham last season, weren't they? Mm. So, I mean, yeah, and they should be, I think. Although they overcame Lille. Like, they had to get like a last minute equalizer to, to bring That's the fair. game to uh, extra time and then penalties. So, I mean, you know, it's not going to be simple, but I mean, they should have enough to get by Olympiacos and then look, a final is like Fiorentina versus Club Bruges. I don't think there's too much to be afraid of there. Yeah, I had a good shout out a friend of mine. Like, it just he actually is of the opinion that he doesn't think that clubs should be celebrating winning this tournament. He thinks that West Ham embarrassed themselves last year and Roma the year before. He thinks it's embarrassing. Like, the, yeah, yeah. Actually... I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too far off that. <laughs> yeah, you reckon? Sorry. Go on, yeah, yeah it, interesting. Yeah. I, you know, I, I found it interesting. I was looking at going. I can see your point, but at the it's made like, a competition for the lower down, like I don't know, you call yeah. it a conference, and it's just like I don't know. It's just the, the, like the, the quality of teams, uh, you know. Mm. But look, maybe look, it's better for the middle 
uh, the middle tier uh, teams to be to be competing in some sort of European the, competition, the I guess. Mid, but the, I, mid, the middle of the road teams, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I suppose. Look, if if Arsenal were to win it, I wouldn't be celebrating it. Put it that way. Okay. No, and I get you. I get, and I feel. Like, kind of... I, I, but it's like when you look at the teams, I suppose that have won it. Like when say Roma had gone a long time without uh, in the trophy. West Ham was what was it sixty years or whatever it was. It was a long time since West Ham had won won anything. So like it's hard like to say hey, why would you bother celebrating that's a fa- complete fucking farmers league like you know a farmers yeah. B league. Uh, but there's no history you know, to it either, Dan. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like it's not like you know. It's like what a, the Emirates Cup that yeah. they have at the start of preseason. Yeah. Like you know, is that a cup? Like you know, so like it's just I like know. you can make things. If there was a bit of history there with it, I suppose you have to start somewhere. You could see it, but you know, mm. you wait for cup. You used to be the wait for cup, and now it's Europa Cup, and you know, yeah. there's a bit. Of, so, it's just so interesting. So when he said it to me, I was like, yeah, hmm. it's interesting. It's interesting. As you said a lot of people I've... do hold that feeling. Like there is a lot to do. Yeah. No, and part of me does as well. I almost feel bad taking the piss out of it but i do see 100 percent where you're both coming from um and i'm just co- going back to what we said earlier like if man united were to end up in the europa conference league next season is it something to be proud of the fact they're back in europe or is it another thing that people are going to laugh at them with next season you're only in the farmers fucking cup that's as good as the air type thing mm. so or chelsea could be in it either yeah because then it, yeah. It, you're, you're, yeah you're right though is it, i suppose it doesn't hold that yeah, you wouldn't pedigree. imagine for, for, for a club that are usually challenging or in the top European competition. And it's, 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 it's definitely one that would hide opinion, I think, if you got a poll on it. Of, you know, that the, depending on who you support, I think, would be a big factor yeah, yeah. and what would you feel about. Yeah. Definitely. Um, okay, we'll move on now to fantasy football for this week. There are major, major happenings in this league at the top of the table. Um, a couple of people have uh, made a late Late, uh, what's the word? Late grab for the winner's spot. Dan is chasing European football. Howard, I don't know where you are, but we'll soon find out. Yeah. Dan Howard, is ch- Howard is chasing a nice restaurant for, for, for yeah, him. yeah, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> you might pick out that hat, Howard. It'll be a nice Salah, Salah has screwed me over, and uh, and Haaland, to be honest, has screwed me over. Having Haaland like Dan, it was a bit of a it's, at the moment, it's looking like a bit of a masterstroke to have not have Haaland in your team because he might even be playing on Thursday and he yeah. hasn't been great in the last few games. So, but yeah, he might well, score. He, he might score four goals one game, then you'd be in trouble. Yeah, if you go look at his record, I was interested because um, I've seen a lot of kind of chatter about him. But actually, when you go and look at his record in particular this season, um, like against any team that's half decent, he's been pathetic, and against the lower teams, he's banged in a lot of goals. No, but like that's that's the stats. Are, I I didn't I wasn't. I didn't know that myself. It was more uh, that's just the way his season has been this year. Like he uh, still obviously got a lot of goals, but he's he's kind of doing a kind of a Lukaku on it, where you, you go flat track bully and bang in a few against some you know against the smaller teams. Then in the big uh, games, he's non-existent. Which in fairness, he, you think you know, game, there's you, a you know, there's a very fair argument. What you're saying, Dan, is this season he has been nowhere near. The level that like he was the previous scorer, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's but, but that's, player, yeah. had he not had he not had the season he had last season, I'd be saying, are we after buying a fucking dud here? <laughs> yeah, you wonder. Is he, he just has him since that injury that he had and came back. He just well, yeah, he just true. doesn't seem to be on it, and he's missing chances. Where last season, Jesus, mm. he was so clinical. But anyway, uh, that's Alan. So when you look at the actual table here itself, yeah, there was so it's double game week this week and. Uh, there is a bit of movement here at the top. So, um, Andrew Curley, Curley's Wordies, has been leading the way for an awful long time. But yeah. uh, my brother, Jimmy Floyd Bottlebank, Alex Coulter, has uh, pulled a master stroke of his own. He has used his free hit and he put in Olise, Eze, and fucking. Now, you'd want to be hard stuck to be putting in Mateta, and he is Mateta. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so they have given him uh, 16 points for Mateta, 12 for Lisa, and 11 for Eze. And he also put Jota in and got 12 points there as well. So he wow. has uh, had a monstrous week there. He's got 88 points. And would you believe it? Himself and Andrew Curley are now both on 2066. Class. At the top. Yeah. And as for Hurtlocker FC, he also um, used his free hit and he also brought in Eze and Elisa, whatever. I don't get this. I was looking at, I was sitting watching them. Um, the, the football yeah. there yesterday with my brother and I was chatting he was like oh yeah glass in our ball and I looked at him I was like like, like Palace are shit like even yeah. since he came in he'd be shit and he was hey you have a double game week and they're two games at home and I was like yeah, but they're playing West Ham and Newcastle like it's not as if they're playing yeah. Luton and Sheffield United but anyway uh, who do I what do I know uh, here rotten in seventh place so uh, he put in the, the uh, 
yeah, so I've heard Lockhart FC also is, is in there because Palace obviously do play again. Andrew Curdy has had a bit of a mare because he uh, is Salah's captain, which a lot of people had, who who is, uh, you know, granted he still has to play Everton, but like that hasn't worked out. Um, he has the Arsenal's two centre centre centre-backs, but he's banking on Haaland, as you said there, Howard, the morning yourself. You're kind of banking on Haaland playing yeah. on on a uh, on Thursday night and getting himself. Which I don't think he's going to be playing, but anyway. Is he not? Is he, is he well, and well, apparently he? his brother doesn't have him in his fancy. He's on the bench for the fancy football team. <laughs> Haaland's brother. No way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So them little things wow. sometimes okay. tell you. Okay. Okay. So so yeah. So look at the top there. It's 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 really it's a three horse race now. Where it was looking like I don't know yeah. whether or not Anthony just goes to show you one. Like, that's a fifty eight point swoop there, Alex. After getting out over on on uh, Anthony Curley, and there could be more damage if if Palace are in the same form against Newcastle in a couple of days' time. Um, we will yeah. see. So um, what do you call yeah, it? Andrew Curley is very much kind of um. Fouled the ball. He uh, he took his eye off the ball, and uh, it's very much Alex and what's your man's name? Shh. Alan Malloy. So Hurt Locker FC there, Alan Malloy. Oh, Hurt Locker, and this is yeah, the lad yeah. that like went mental at the start of the season with some no decisions Halland. and no Hallen, oh, and all of yeah. a sudden, man, last, off. <laughs> oh man, the last few weeks of the I thought I was absolutely going to be getting an Arsenal shirt, so it could be a Liverpool shirt. Yeah, he's United as well. The Hurt Locker FC is United. So oh, dude. really? Yeah, so you've uh, you're either that's what you're looking at. I think that yeah, it, it is three or oh, we got four or five game weeks left, but it's probably three or three race there. And as for our good friend here on the screen, Howard, I let you take over here, son, because you've had one horrendous week so far. <laughs> it hasn't been that bad, has it? Uh, I, you, I, you, I thirty you, points. You, you have got the lowest number of points of anyone in the top eighteen. Oh. 20, 28, 28. And you think did you take a minus? I'll yes, you did. Four. So 20, 24 points you're sitting on. But it's and still like Saka's got it's still look, there's still half the game we do. There is half the game we go. You need you need you you can put all your eggs really in the Liverpool basket. You need Salah and Diaz. I, I, I so. Salah and Diaz and neither yeah. event for me. So um, you need both of them uh to make some ground. A lot of people Saka's captain as well. So really Salah and Diaz yeah. for you, but you put in Rico Lewis, which is an interest. The one you fancy him to get a start, you do? I'd say he'll start. He's been starting all uh, the City games in the Premier League over the last while because they've been in Europe. So he'll yeah, start. Possibly, but it, yeah, possibly, yeah. Yeah, he'll start. But uh, yeah, like I had him in the last day. It was like him or Gradiol, and I put him in because uh, he plays a bit further up. Sure Gradiol got an assist yeah. or whatever. Like, you know, so look. Did you, take out Ray, did you get Raya and goals to put in Neto? Oh no! I took out Ray ages ago. Um, actually, I put yeah. since I put Rice into my team, it's gone fucking belly up. Rice. Yeah, I think actually, me. yeah, you, you put him in after he got like what three or four assists in a row. Yeah, I, I put him in. He hasn't done anything. Um, anyway, got, look, it's it's, yeah, it's see how it goes. I get the steak dinner out for you anyway. Yeah, I was looking at a really nice place there. What's it called? It's called Fire. <laughs> I heard of Fire in Dublin. Oh fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire yeah, Steakhouse. Yeah. That's expensive now, Dan. That's that's. Fine. Well, look. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. We have, I think, as far as I know, Declan, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we had a limit on this. There's no limit, is it? No but rules. I don't think that no holes, no holes barred. Yeah. Any, yeah. Anything goes. <laughs> oh, God, very good. But anyway, okay. it's, it's, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. I don't know whether or not. Um, my brother did say that if we got to that stage, I was saying to him about, uh, depending on what way the table looks, that we'd try and give him a bit to do lads on. I don't know where Absolutely. I'm going to in New York, but it was, if it was possible to facilitate, I think it'd be a good crack. Especially Absolutely. if there were. Especially if they're both in it, like say put into the last game. We can Definitely, let them, let them Alex. Like Alex, if you're listening, it's time for you to finish your story. Okay, ah. right. Last one. Let um big three competition. So I've gone with the three teams fighting for the title this year, this uh this weekend. West Ham versus Liverpool, Spurs and Arsenal, Nottingham Forest and City. So Dan, we'll start with you. West mm. Ham versus Liverpool. Um, I will go. I'll go 2 0 Liverpool. Okay. Howard, what do you think? I'll go for, yeah, I'll go 2 1 Liverpool. Okay. And Spurs versus Arsenal. Howard, we'll start with you here. Mm. God, this being, this I'm going to have to back them. Uh, I think I'm going to go, I'm going 2 0 Arsenal. I have to, if have you to win do, that game. If you do get that result, I'll be very impressed, genuinely. Yeah. Because yeah. that, that's, I think that's your. That's a season. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dan, Spurs and Arsenal. I. What did you go, Howard? 2 0 Arsenal. I will go 3 1 Arsenal. Wow. No, do you know what? I go 4 1 Arsenal. Oh, wow. Yeah, I do. 
Yeah, I think I think like Tottenham are kind of falling off a bit, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. I just think that a. Uh, I know now it's London Derby, so anything can happen. But if you actually look at the two teams and the way Spurs play, like Jesus, they they fall right into Arsenal's lap. Like Arsenal's so solid defensively, but like Spurs will just go gung ho, won't they? Like they know they're yeah. in. I wonder, man. I just think that the, the Arsenal will create so many chances. Um, yeah, I, I just have a feeling if we won them games at the West Ham, where they just kind of go and can run amok so I go 4-1 yeah. okay and then finally Nott's Forest versus City uh, Dan uh, Primo City okay. oh do you know no the bastards always continue to go 3-1 3-1 <laughs> they're always it's so annoying I don't have many weeks and I'm in a super 6 I don't have many weeks I've done City to win to nil it doesn't matter I, I keep saying every week I, I have to put I always do it going on there's no way that they'll concede against Luton and it's just so annoying so yeah yeah. Customary, customary goal there, yeah. Okay. I'll go 2-1. I'll go 2-1, City. It'll be one of them ones City. that said, you know, it's just like, ah, uh, it's a just about over the line, but it was never in doubt either, like, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah. so just remind me now, so, um, okay, so, again, sorry, just uh, get your predictions in by 10 p.m. on Friday evening, and you could be, if you are to predict three correct results, you'll be the winner of two match tickets to a Premier League team of your choice. Um. Who do you think? So I mean, will be top of the Premier League say, next Sunday night. Just so, I'm trying. I'm trying to think. So, oh, no, he, oh yeah, he, yeah, a year ahead. So you'll have a game played more than us. Yeah, I'd oh, say yeah. it'll be if Arsenal beats Tottenham, it'll be Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. The way um, so as you were type thing. Like, yeah, the goal difference is too big. Yeah, 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 yeah think, it will be. Um, so Eve Everton, Dan Spurs, or so Arsenal have um. Chelsea. Chelsea. So mm. you Brighton City in Brighton, do you see anything happening there? That could be a tricky one. Uh but also well, I, I'd have more hope over that one than the Tottenham one, put it that way. Um, really? yeah, just mm. the way I just think yeah, I think that could be a trickier game for you than the, the Tottenham game. Uh, I um, think the I think the, the the closer it gets to the end, if it's still tight, is the best chance. I think like City will have a nice kind of a rest there now. From Saturday to Thursday, yeah, yeah. you know they'll, they'll be refreshed. Lad. I know I I think... it's hard. Like but City haven't been playing well recently, so you know it could be. Yeah, but you think Brighton? Like we said that like, a couple of weeks ago for you, didn't we? That uh, would be, yeah. be, and they were they were bad. Like yeah, and they were mm. decent against us, but you just don't know what you're gonna get with them, do you? Yeah. Yeah. I just think that um, I want the two of you to just slip up one more time because I don't like the idea of playing Tottenham away second last game of the season because, I mean, it's it's our bogey ground. We hate going there. Mm-hmm. Um, even at the end, you had, we threw away two goals. It was three all uh, in October, I think it was. I just do not like to look at that Spurs away two games from the end of the season, but we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, definitely. So, man, that concludes uh, anything else to add oh sorry Howard congratulations you are now you. a mar- married man how does it feel uh, it feels like a, a burden has been put on my shoulders <laughs> you know what <laughs> I say like it's a, a burden has been lifted yeah it's probably the opposite uh, Very good. I know, so do, you, been good. do you have to hold off on the rings for the moment is it yeah 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 we've, we've them ordered they're in the post <laughs> post one's going to come with them uh, yeah <laughs> Very anyway. good. Um, anything else to add, man? None for me, uh, no. No, just like, just like the Ireland thing has now been put back to like it's it's September. Oh, yeah. it is. It's embarrassing. It, it, it's 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 really embarrassing, isn't it? At this stage, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. see your man, the chief executive, is stepping down as well. Yeah, it's just a uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's complete yeah. shambles. Anyway, um, it, it, it is. It's 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 ridiculous. And anyone I've talked to agrees as well that I mean, it hasn't been right for a long time. And it doesn't look like it's going to be right for another while yet. Um, and I mean, you thought there was going to be reform uh, after that whole John Delaney crack, and then the board that went in. You seen the chief executive with his the whole issue with his expenses. I mean, nothing changed. No. Uh, no. Maybe, maybe we were all kind of a bit naive to think that it would change. Um, but yeah, look, we can wait till September. We have a couple of friendlies in June. John O'Shea, I think, is supposedly <laughs> going to. Supposedly yeah. it's going to be like in the interim, and John O'Shea, like he comes across as he was a good footballer, he comes across as a classy lad. I don't know why the hell he'd want anything to do with the feckin' setup, but look, look, I suppose for someone like him, though, you know, if he went and, and had a bit of a stab and got a couple of results, he yeah, might, he might flag, 
You might blag his way into it, but it doesn't <laughs> sound like it's such a basket case but in there. That, that's you know? the feck, that's the thing, though. Like, it's literally a case of anyone can literally blag their way into that role if they have enough experience, yeah. behind, plain, plain experience, even. Yeah, um, I just thought it was funny when I read that. It's like, oh, it it's, is. They gave Here us one, was the third, that was the third date and everything, that they gave us one date, or oh, it'll be by this date. I was like, oh, no, no, it's probably this. And I was like, oh, no, it'll be September. Yeah, I know. They're just obviously playing themselves time, aren't they? They don't have what to do. They'll have to, like, uh, yeah. They have no credibility um, left. Um, no. Okay, lads, thank you very much as always. And thank you to all who are listening and watching each week. Um, we're closing in on the last few episodes of this season. So please do keep watching and listening. Um, right, we'll leave it there, man. And I will talk to you next week. Um, have a good week. Cheers, Dick. Cheers, Dick. Cheers, Matt. Good luck. <laughs>